Hi, I'm Crossley, and in this video I'll show you how to connect the CQ18T to Logic Pro X and Multitrack Record. This is an easy way to get loads of inputs if you're recording a large group or a band. To set this up, you'll need a USB-A to USB-B cable, a USB-A to Type-C adapter for the new Macs, and headphones. Before you connect the digital mixer to your computer, you have to set the mixer for multitrack recording and playback. To do this, go to config, then to USB and SD page, and change the stream mode to multitrack instead of stereo. This will give you access to all the inputs and the outputs to record. You can also decide if you want any processing to be recorded at the source point. I usually leave this on post preamp as I will mix using external plugins. Then go to config and stereo link input 1 and 2 and set them as USB inputs. This is where the stereo output from Logic will be sent. Then go to the fader page and turn up inputs 1 and 2. Through these inputs, you can hear the metronome and other instruments that are already in your project. You will have full control of this to send to any of the outputs. Now connect your mixer to your computer using the USB cable. To record, click on create track and select mic or line. You can choose to create multiple tracks with the sending inputs here. Remember that you can't use inputs 1 and 2 as they are for logic to send audio to the mixer. So select any inputs from 3 onwards to record. To hear what you're recording or to monitor, connect your headphones to the headphones input on the front of the mixer. And to configure these, go to config and then click here and set them to main left and right. You can now start recording into Logic as if this digital mixer was an audio interface with 16 inputs. So here in Logic, I'll show you the different ways you can route the audio signal through this mixer. I've plugged my microphone into input 3 to record over this track. To make sure no processing is recorded, I'll go to config, SD and USB page and select post preamp as my source point. The color of your eyes. The color of your eyes. The color of your eyes. The color of your To record the inbuilt processing of the mixer, select your source point as post AMM and now you can apply processing such as EQ and compression which will be recorded directly into your track. To record effects like reverb and delay, you have to configure these in the mixer. In this instance, I've set 17.18 as effects 1 and 19.20 as effects 2. This is reverb and delay. To record this into Logic, I'll create an audio track, then select 17.18 and then another track for 19.20. I'll also create a track for my dry vocals. To record all of them at the same time, I'll press the record enable button across all of them. I will apply some effects on my vocals to demonstrate. The color of your eyes. The color of your Here we can see that the delay and reverb are applied on separate tracks, allowing me full control of the mix. The color of your eyes. The color of your eyes. The color of your eyes. Another cool way of using this mixer is by setting individual outputs for the instruments. For example, I can output the piano track on input number 7 and 8 of the digital mixer. So when I play this track, the piano will only come through 7 and 8, which allows me further control over monitoring. This is a great way to use this mixer for backing tracks as well, 
as you can have live instruments plugged into this mixer, as well as logic instruments. This mixer treats logic as any other input, which allows for great monitoring control for your band members. Logic also allows you to set individual outputs for your instruments. This means you can output each instrument to a separate input on the digital mixer. If you don't want to change this every time you want to record, save this scene on the scenes page so you don't have to waste time setting this up. Other tips. If you want, you can decide to record in 96 kilohertz. This gives you the highest quality recording possible, but it uses more storage space. Recording the outputs. This mixer allows you to record the effects out into Logic separately. This is cool if you want to experiment with the inbuilt effects, but you don't want them to be applied on the tracks you are recording. This can be done on the config page, under USB and SD page, and under the channel assignment section. Alternatively, you can directly connect your headphones to your Mac and set the output to external headphones in Logic Pro settings. This means you have two extra inputs, inputs 1 and 2, but you will need to monitor through Logic, which will introduce a slight delay. I hope this video was useful. There's a lot to unpack here, but I'm surprised by how easy it is to set all this up. I want to use Logic and this mixer for live backing tracks, as I've never done that before, and it's cool to have all these inputs to try new ways of recording instruments and vocalists. If you enjoyed this video, check out another video I made with this mixer on how to get your band to sound amazing in just four steps. I hope you're well, and thanks for watching.